OK, let's take a look at some of these new features in Solid Edge ST8. The first we're going to look at is Like Me Pattern Recognition. And what this allows us to do is to recognize faces and create patterns uh, or pattern features from completely dumb geometry. Uh, there's several cases which could use this, so let's, let's take a look. Uh, here we want to make some changes to this gripper arm assembly here, so we'll just delve into the, uh, the sub-assembly here. Very pretty. And I want to take a look uh, down at, that, uh, at the detail there. Let's just open that up. Uh, take the lid off. And we'll see we've got a couple of uh, gripper arms there with uh, gear teeth on them. They've got uh, 12 teeth on those teeth. And what we're doing is we're going to be making some, uh, some changes to, uh, to this assembly. Uh, we've got a different gripper arm that we want to, we want to fit to it. But that gripper arm uh, has come in from uh, a different CAD system. Let's just go and find that. Uh, it's uh, not a solid edge part file, it's under all documents, it's a, a step file. And there we have a, uh, a step file. What we're going to do is just translate that into solid edge very quickly. And here we have that step file translated to solid edge. And what we've got is um, it's all very nice, but it's completely featureless. It's just a group of faces. And it would be nice if we could uh, modify some of these features in a procedural fashion. What I mean by that is we've got uh, obviously some sort of pattern here that was used originally to create these teeth. Might be a pattern here as well. Be lovely if we could recreate that. Well, we can. Under our pattern <coughs> command, which has been there for a long time, we've got, we used to, uh, brought in an ST7 recognize whole patterns. We can now recognize more complex patterns. And in this case, all we want to do is recognize this set of teeth as a pattern. All we have to do is select the faces that will make up that pattern, right-click to accept that, and it generates a pattern. It's generated a circular pattern by finding similar teeth, or similar groups of faces, more correctly. So we've found the center, we've found the, uh, the, the, the pattern circle, and so on. Uh, again, uh, we might want to do the same thing up here with these uh, with these features. So exactly the same process under our pattern, recognize pattern. This time I'm just going to do a group select that area there, right click, and it's found a linear pattern. Say OK to that. OK, let's make some changes to those patterns. We had before 12 teeth or a 12 tooth um, it wasn't 12 teeth, it was 12, 12 tooth pitch. And that's a 10 tooth pitch, and I want to change that to 12. You'll notice also up in my command bar the uh, all the other pattern controls are available. This is a procedural feature. In other words, uh, it's a synchronous feature, but it has a procedure behind it that allows us to modify it. Let's uh, make that change. It's done that very nicely. This one here, uh, again, we want to make some changes to that. We get the same. Uh, set of controls back as we've always had available and uh, we want to make uh, let's say 10 and there we'll do. So now we've got a nice uh, a nice fine grip pattern we'll simply uh, save that and return to our assembly. Now as I said we want to make those changes so all I have to do is replace those parts replace part, replace this one with the one we've just created that's our uh, left one. Uh, because we've got uh, assembly constraints on there, we'll suppress those for the moment and clean those up later. Uh, let's make a change to this one. Again, we can select the object before selecting the command. And that's going to be the right-hand one. And there we go. We've got a new, new assembly. Let's just return to our uh, next level, our previous level, and we've got uh, our assembly displayed. We've got the new grippers on there. Something that's changed um, recently, uh, we've got a drop drop shadow. Just let's go back to that assembly for a second. Um, open that assembly, that sub-assembly. 
and turn the, uh, the floor reflection off. We've got a drop shadow which we've had for some time. But if I stand that up, you'll notice we've still got a plane to drop the shadow on, which is uh, just a nice little enhancement that makes things look a little bit better. So we saw with the pattern recognition uh, the capability of uh, it's an enhanced uh, facility to recognize groups of or sets of, uh, of faces and create create patterns for those whether they be linear or circular patterns. Uh, you can run it multiple times on a part there's no limitation to that of course. You can use it both with um, imported parts and existing solid edge parts. You might have might have created what effectively is a pattern using a sketch, but you'd like to have a pattern control over that later on, well, we can do that. And this extends the reuse and editability of both uh, existing and imported parts.